Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday, April 2nd, 2017. And this video is in response to a couple of flat earth believers who have asked me to take a chessboard, or in this case I've used a scrabble board, and to take a look at how the squares and lines appear to converge depending on the viewing angle. So the, sh the shallower the viewing angle, the more the lines appear to converge. As you can see on the bottom half my screen. Uh, you can see that I've got the Scrabble board folded so that the far side is actually upright. Now we can see on the far side that the, that the squares are fairly well maintained as squares but the lines on the near side of the board are converged and as I play the video forward we can see that as, as I lay the far side out uh, we can see that the lines are converging together as the board is laid out flat, just as we see in the bottom half of the video. But the flat earthers seem to forget that um, even if the earth was flat, then everything on the earth, such as buildings and so forth, are not also flat. They are three-dimensional. We can see that those lines become more converged as our viewing angle is shallower. Now let's take another look at this, this time with some three-dimensional objects added, some letter tiles, and see how it looks with our convergence. Does the convergence that we see on the flat part of the Scrabble board have the same effect on the three-dimensional objects, which would represent buildings or people or any other three-dimensional object on a flat earth? We can see that even though we're looking at a shallow angle, the three-dimensional objects actually maintain their shape and their proportions. They don't flatten out even when I make the angle even more shallow by lowering the camera towards the horizon. And here we have flat earth convergence debunked. Thank you for watching.